already. Mad Lions with the Karthus lane, now we've got a Seraphine lane, Pike supports, very different picks coming out here. And I think G2's comp is very straightforward. It's all about the top side. Seraphine expected to be the weak side. Pike getting out of that lane. Seraphine, I wonder what... He had a cookie there so he can get a little bit more mana Ooh, back. Hook. Promise you're going to get pulled back. Remember, that is no aftershock on the thrash. He's getting ignited. He's going to get burned down. The Phantom Undertow not going to connect. Big damage, and that's going to be first blood going over to the side of G2. But now the response. The pillar pushing caps out of the way. The flaws do let will not connect. Targamus going invisible with the Ghostwater dive. It's a snare from across the wall from Kabe. And Mr. Reliable makes the kill come through. Sansara's reading the play. Sanzara in the area, flash through, he's gonna connect on the AD carry there. Kabe though, the body block comes in from Promise Q. Glacial Augment going down, Kabe still on the retreat. One death so far for Astralis in the bottom lane, but Deor might not be such a big fan. Ooh, Bones Q, where it comes out just Deor. in time. Aurelia now throwing out the ult, that's the lockdown. Targmas incredibly squishy, but G2 have the damage to shut down. TP don't from behind, has flash, has ult. White Knight has ult as well though. Walking away, gonna be almost impossible to get out of this one. There's just too much chain CC. Lots of lifesteal, buys a bit more time, but ultimately will go down. White Knight gonna take that pick again before any objective spawns. Brookman's gonna find Zanzara first, though. A lot of burst damage. Zanzara throwing down the ultimate immediately alongside the Chilling Smite. Pillar to push them oh, back. Promise Flash over the wall from Promise Q. They've still got a Blast Cone now. They're now backing away. That's Dior. a Seraphine ultimate, but it's Dayor in the midst of everybody. He's set up for resets. Pike just wants to fish for the execution, getting him lower and lower, but he's forced to dash away. Dayor must be one sad boy. He was so close to so Ooh. many resets, but while all this is happening, Astralis Yankos. feels like they're forced to try and take this tower, but it's Yankos from behind manages to find the kill. There is a Herald crashing on the two from members. He could have made so much work in those fights. Caps is going to get rooted here. White Knight has ultimate. Can he burst and trade one for one? No, he Will can't. not get the opportunity. Gale Force in, find kills. Caps finds two towers. They finally kill Caps. Broken Blade takes down bot tier one, and now well, Dayor behind. feels pretty confident here. Yankos is now coming in over the wall, and the Aurelia has to run, but Zanzara is now pushing forward. White Knight is here as well. Astralis, can they finally get ahead of the clock with this play? Dayor a little bit low. He wants to heal, wants to get something oh, done. Yankos goes wide from Yankos. Dayor forcing the flash out from Yankos. The lockdown comes through as well. G2 losing so many on that bomb. And Zanzara waiting in the darkness can go for something, but if he finds him in a 1v1, he does a lot oh, of damage. damage to Caps. Look at that trundle DPS. And now it's Yankos and No Man's Land. And again, Astralis. They're set up Wait. for a Baron. If they take this fight, that's the double kill. They can turn right back for it. Aphelios has the perfect guns. G2, they're going to need to find a Miracle if they want to contest this one. White Knight needs to cancel Broken Blade CP. I think he's going to be able to drop it in now. White Knight didn't keep track of him, so now he has to run all the way there. Can Broken Blade, Targamas, and Flacky, the new members of G2, stop Astralis from getting 7K. this Baron? They always get hooked. The ulti, where is it gonna go? Dayor in the midst of the entire team, they're buying time, but Astralis is pulled away from the Baron, and Targamus is oh. found for the kill, now it's Kabe locked up, and there goes the Graves damage. Kabe running for the hills, but the shotgun will finish the job. Again, it starts so good for us. Members could make it easy, but Astralis, they do not feel confident pulling the trigger. They know if that fight turns against them, the game will end in favor of G2. They do not want to bet at all on that White Knight TP. Wave coming in again. Flack hit. Might be cold here. Yeah, you're going in. Now stepping forward. That's going to be the lockdown coming in for the backside from Kabe. Flack now responding with an all of his own. Zanzar on the front line. The flash forward. The play goes a little bit wide, but the hook does connect. Flack it goes golden. Buys himself a brief moment of time, but he's now set to fall. Flack it taken down. Shut down for Kabe. Big damage coming through, but the resets are there for G2. It's a 3v4. Hail force, but now how does Astralis get in this pit? Let's watch White Knight on the side and Kobe. See if he can get a gravity ultimate on a couple members of Level G2. 16 cannon. Dayor now going into the tip. White Knight knocked back. He is going to be able to take down one, but nobody else. The dragon going down in favor of G2. They got a Eyes console, but what is it worth in a fight? Targum is finding the reset. It could be big. One member dropping for Astralis, two members down for G2. Astralis want to keep this exchange going. If Just Targumus is going to win, there's no way this works. Oh! Flash hook, White Knight now forced to immediately ult, but he will not have it for the following fight. He's just on the retreat. Yanko's going to fish for the 1v1, going in with the Gore Drinker, now following up the Sonic Wave, the resonating strike. G into Targumus' Pike. Zantar is around. He has no flash, though. Hook going in, that's the jungler lockdown. 4k getting lower. Broken Blade shredding through the Drake. Zanzara, no flash to get over the wall. There's nothing he can do. Broken Blade going over the wall anyway. He's damage. not worried about the cooldown timers. He's just trying to kill everybody. Rip Baron up. already down. Zanzara running for the hills, but the shotgun to the back will be more than enough. Promise Q goes in for the hook. Buys his team a little bit of space, but it is G3 absolutely destroying Astralis on the back of a single blue ward. God, this Graves top is unstoppable and unkillable with these items. Bloodthirster, Shield, Bow, GA. No one can even walk up to Broken Blade. And G2 with the Baron are going to push through mid. 30 seconds left. I think they're going to be able to close it out here. White Knight doesn't have ult. It's down to Kobe and Dior. What magic can they make happen? Last hold. White Knight ultimate just around the corner. Flash not too far off either, but... 
he might not get an opportunity. Kabe, perfect guns for an AoE team fight, but if someone gets on top of him, it's going to be a difficult one for sure. Alti now going oh. in, they're trying to burn him down. Aphelios, 200 years, not nearly enough. Alti now coming in, though, for Astralis. Yanko should get taken down by White Knight. Goes Golden. Zanzar coming into the area, but G2, Broken Blade still alive. He's still full health, and it's all too easy. G2 oh. taking down Astralis. It's disgusting, isn't it? Broken Blade, level 18.